Sports Medicine is the most trusted of its kind in Northeast Indiana. That's because of the benefits our services provide you. We serve every level of athlete with our sports nutritionists, the expert physicians at O&E, the area's only specialized athletic rehab, and the region's industry leader in sports performance, AWP. The roster coordinates your care in state-of-the-art facilities conveniently located in your community. To start your journey, visit us at parkviewsportsmedicine.com. Well, good evening, everybody. Welcome to the home of the Spartans, Homestead High School, as we have Summit City Sports.com boys basketball action coming your way tonight. The Wayne Generals against the Homestead Spartans, this Summit Conference matchup. The Generals 1 and 5 in the conference, 7 and 9 overall. Homestead 14 and 3 overall, and 4 and 2 in the Summit. Homestead with a 23 to 17 edge over the last 30 years. Last time they played each other was in the SAC Holiday Tournament, which was uh, won by Homestead, 57 to 54. Once again, tonight's game is coming to you on SummitCitySports.com. Follow us on Twitter at 260 Sports. Like our Facebook page at Summit City Sports, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Parkview Sports Medicine, a proud supporter of Fort Wayne Area Athletics, and its athletes, Parfi Sports Medicine can provide the training, treatment, and education you need to advance your sports game. Have questions about injury prevention, sports nutrition, and more? We've got you covered. That's Parfi Sports Medicine at parkview.com. And Sports Center Incorporated is Fort Wayne's premier sporting goods dealer, offering equipment rental, embroidery, and screen printing. Sports Center is ready and willing to help you place orders and or answer any questions concerning pricing. Sports Center Incorporated, located at 5511 Coventry Lane, Fort Wayne, Indiana, 46804. Well, big news for high school basketball fans in the city of Fort Wayne today. The Associated Press Indiana Boys Basketball Poll out for this week. And the Northside Legends, the number one team in the state in Class 4A. Homestead ranked number 14 in 4A. Lores ranked number 13 in 3A. Blackhawk Christian ranked number 7 in single A. Again, this is a Summit Conference game as we enter the home stretch of this 2016-2017 season. Snyder still with the lead in the conference at 7-0. North and Lores both at 5-1. Homestead and Carroll at 4-2. Southside at 2-4. Quaker at 2-5. Northrop and Wayne both at 1-5 in the conference. Concordia at 0 and 6. We're just about set to go here at Homestead. JV game, by the way, was won by Homestead over Wayne, 48 to 41. And very shortly, we'll have the national anthem as well as the introduction of the starting lineups. Homestead coached by Chris Johnson. Wayne coached by Aaron Rurer. Ladies and gentlemen, I have your attention, please. At this time, I ask if you're able to please rise, remove your hats, and honor America with the playing of our national anthem. Tonight, the national anthem will be performed by the Spartan Alliance Band.
We welcome you to Homestead High School for tonight's Varsity Boys Basketball Summit Athletic Conference matchup. Tonight's game features the visiting team on the scoreboard, the Wayne Generals. And our own Homestead and Spartans. Introducing tonight's starting lineups first for Wayne. Starting at one guard, a six foot one inch junior, number one, Kyron Jerome. And another guard, a five foot nine inch junior, number five, Anthony Phillips. And a third guard, a six foot one inch sophomore, number 11, Damari A. Dial. Starting at one guard, a six foot five inch sophomore, number zero, Craig Young. And then the other guard, a six foot two inch junior, number 23, Shawan Sanders. The head coach of the Jingles is Mr. Mary Moore. And now, introducing the starting lineup for your homestead, Spartans. Starting at one guard, a six foot three inch senior, number 10, Jack Ferguson. for basketball action here at Homestead High School on this Tuesday night Summit Conference game. Homestead Spartans and the home whites, the Wayne Generals in their road light blue jerseys with the red numerals. Wayne going to the bucket to our left. Homestead going to our right. And this game is underway and Wayne controls the opening tap and away we go. Homestead opens up man to man as Phillips goes to the right wing. Bounce pass down to Young. Brings it back outside of Phillips. Phillips goes between the circles. He's guarded by Ferguson. Here's Anthony Phillips getting a screen from Young. Out top it comes to Sanders. Now they get it to the left baseline to Young. Young back outside. Giroux. Giroux, nice move, right elbow. Fires it, fills it. Giroux breaks the lid. First bucket of the night, 2 0 Wayne, 7 21 to go in the opening quarter. Ferguson, left wing it goes to Mangus. Now on the near side, here's Buck. Mangus, back to Buck on the near side. Buck will drive it, right hand runner goes. So Buck ties it up at 2 to 2. We saw Buck score 15 points last week against Canterbury, and now a turnover by the way, General. 6.58 to go in the opening quarter, and we are tied 2-2. Two two. Wayne, Wayne's last game was on uh, Saturday when they won at Norwell, 56-47. Homestead coming off a 67-49 win at Canterbury last Thursday. A miss from the right baseline by Dernell. And here come the Generals, we're tied at two. And a quick move by Giroux, he kicks it back outside to Phillips, and Phillips will set up the offense. Game is tied at two, 6.35 to go in the opening quarter. Now Giroux between the circles to Young, to the elbow, back to Giroux. Triple try, right wing, not there. Rebound to Ferguson for Homestead. Ferguson quickly to the forecourt, to the lane. Kicks it back outside, ball is knocked away, scramble is on, still loose. And still, nobody can get a handle on it, and it's out of bounds, they say. Last touch by the Homestead Spartans, and so it'll be Wayne basketball. Still tied at two with 6.16 to go in the opening quarter. 
Jim Beasel with you tonight. Our cameraman is Adam Reed. First time we've worked with Adam this year and a unforced turnover by the Generals right there as Dial and Phillips weren't on the same page. So the Spartans get it back. 6.06 to go in the opening quarter. We're tied at two. Boys basketball season, regular season in Indiana starting to wind down. Out of all that, it's still homestead ball. Regular season ends two weeks from Friday night. And the sectional pairings are just 12 days away now as we speak. Here's Ferguson at the left wing, guarded by Giroux, back outside. Tight man-to-man -man defense here by the Generals. Now Archibald to Buck. Buck with 5.45 to go in the first quarter, tied 2-2. Grinnell over it goes to Mangus. Left wing, triple try, bullseye for Mangus. Mangus can hit it from out there. He's 43% from beyond the arc this season. As a team, Homestead 35% from distance. And they have a 5-2 lead. And we have 5.21 to go in the opening quarter. Five-point spurt here by the Spartans. A miss inside by Giroux. Out of bounds it goes. And they say last touch by one of the Spartans. So we'll keep it down there. It's Wayne basketball. 5-16 to go in the first. Homestead on top, 5-2. To Giroux triggers. Finds Dial. Dial back outside, it goes to Phillips. Phillips between the circles, right wing Giroux. Gets a screen from Young. To the near side it comes to Dial, inside. Young to the rack, can't finish. Rebound out of bounds, last touch they say by Sanders. And it's Homestead basketball. Exactly five minutes to play in the opening quarter. Wayne got the first bucket of the game, but since then they've been cold, and now on the inbounds, a whistle. And we're going to get a foul on Giroux for Wayne. That's the first foul on anybody tonight. Pressure in the backcourt by the Generals. Mangus to midcourt to Ferguson. Ferguson, baseline drive, lost it out of bounds. Jack trying to force the issue there, lost control of the basketball. And so Wayne will get it back. And... A rather sloppy start to this ball game. Lots of turnovers here in the first three minutes. Mm, turnovers. Phillips to the right wing it goes. Now down low, wide open look, great pass. Easy bucket for Sanders. So the Generals with good ball movement there and they are rewarded. Five to four now, the Holmstead lead is one. 4.27 to go in the opening quarter. Again, they extend the defense, putting pressure on the ball. Buck out top to Manges. Archibald has it now. Out top, Buck for three. Bullseye! <laughs> Sam Buck, the 6'5 junior, now with five points for the night. Buck a 35% shooter from distance. Generals turn the ball over again. And the Homestead Spartans get it back with 4.04 to go in the opening quarter. Spartans on top of the Generals, 8-4. And they break the pressure and get numbers. Ferguson, nice move to the 10, and he scores. Ferguson's first bucket of the night. He's averaging over 19 a game. And Holmstead has a 10-4 lead now. 3.49 to go in the first quarter. Young draws a double, kicks it outside. Giroux open look for three. Can't find the distance. And Manges has it ahead to Ferguson. Ferguson drives it, and a whistle on the drive. With 3.38 to go in the first quarter, we're going to get a general's foul. It's whistled on Phillips. His first team foul number two. Ferguson will trigger at the baseline for Holmstead. 10-4, favor the Spartans. 10-4, good buddy, it says the score. Manges to Buck. Near side, Archibald. Now back outside the Buck. Manges has it, 6'3", senior. Here's Ferguson, long distance three, not there. A brick into the hands of Phillips. And Wayne on the run, Jerome finishes! Beautiful fast break executed there by the Wayne Generals as they 
Beat the Spartans in transition. Jerome now with four of the six points for Wayne. It's 10 to six Homestead. 3.04 to go in the first quarter. Pass deflected away from Ferguson. He retrieves it at midcourt. Manchus drives it to the rack. He gets fouled. And that'll be in the act of shooting. And that whistle is on Phillips. So two on Phillips, three on the team. He'll have to sit down. Darian Causey will check into the ball game for Wayne. Manchus six, the first of two. He now has four points. 67% foul shooter. As a team, Homestead is 69% from the line. Three fouls on way, not against Homestead. And Manchus gets them both. He now has five points, and it's a 12-6 lead for the Homestead Spartans. 2.51 to go in the opening quarter. Now a 1-2-2 press by Homestead. Generals get the ball over the timeline. Giroux, and they throw it away again. Boy, there have been times in this opening quarter as Coach Aaron Rur telling his guys to calm down here, settle down. There have been times in this opening quarter both teams have handled the basketball like a stuck full of razor blades. A very sloppy first quarter by both teams. 12-6 Homestead. Ferguson outside the buck. Now Manchus has it. Here's uh, Durnell. Into the right corner it comes to Ferguson. Ferguson can't shoot. Durnell cross court. There's Buck. Open for three. Not there. Long rebound to Young. He's off to the races. Young to the baseline. Can't shoot. Back out top it comes. Triple try. Causey misses. Rebound. Buck. And here's Ferguson with 2.05 to go in the quarter. 12-6 Homestead. Buck. Near side, Manchus finds the cutting. Durnell to the rack. He'll score off the glass. Durnell's at first two. And uh, he's averaging over 16 points a game. 14 to 6 now. The Homestead lead is 8. And we have a bit of 40 to go in the opening quarter. With the basketball is Darian Causey, a 6-1 junior. And Homestead showing a zone defense now. Looks like a 2-3 zone here by the Spartans. Causey's pass knocked away by Ferguson. Comes back to Causey. Young inside. Nice move. Young gets his first two of the night to make it 14-8. Young is having a terrific sophomore year for the Generals. Averaging just under 20 points a game and just over nine rebounds a contest. And he's only a sophomore. You're going to hear a lot from this young man over the next two years. Craig Young, and he just got that last rebound off the missed shot. 14 to eight, Homestead with a six point lead, under a minute to play in the opening quarter. Here's Causey between the circles. And oh my goodness, another careless turnover by Wayne. And Aaron Rarer, a very frustrated Wayne coach, goes for the walk down here to our right. And you can just see the steam coming out of his ears right now. I don't blame him. Any coach would be frustrated with how Wayne has handled the basketball here in this opening quarter. Archibald to left corner. I mean, they're just sloppy, inattentive turnovers. Manches down the lane, can't finish, got his own rebound. Back outside it comes to Buck. 25 seconds to go in the quarter. Archibald to Manches, left corner, Buck. Down low, Durnell draws the double. Look at that ball movement by Homestead. And Manchus drains a three from the left wing. Beautiful possession there by the Spartans. And with nine seconds, a foul at midcourt on Archibald, the freshman. Didn't like the call, but he walks away. First foul on Homestead. So we got 8.7 to go in the first quarter. It's 17 to eight favor Homestead. Wayne basketball, they'll get the final shot of this quarter. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. My goodness, another unforced turnover by Wayne. They gotta, they gotta get people back on the same page here. Ferguson down the lane to the rack, and he will not get the bounce, and the first quarter comes to an end here at Homestead. After one quarter, it's the Homestead Spartans. 17, and the Wayne Generals, 8. Once again, tonight's broadcast being brought to you 
by SummitCitySports.com. Follow us on Twitter at 260 Sports. Like our Facebook page at Summit City Sports and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Parfuse Sports Medicine is a proud supporter of Fort Wayne Area Athletics and its athletes. Parfuse Sports Medicine can provide the training, treatment, and education you need to advance your sports game. Have questions about injury prevention, sports nutrition, and more? We've got you covered. That's Parkview Sports Medicine at parkview.com. And Sports Center Incorporated is Fort Wayne's premier sporting goods dealer, offering equipment rental, embroidery, and screen printing. Sports Center is ready and willing to help you place orders and or answer any questions concerning pricing. Sports Center Incorporated, located at 5511 Coventry Lane, Fort Wayne, Indiana, 46804. Parker Mangus leading the way for Homestead in that opening quarter with eight points. Ferguson had two, five for Buck, two for Durnell. For Wayne, Jarrell has four points, Young has two, and Sanders has two. 17-8, Homestead has the ball and the lead as we start the second quarter here at the home of the Spartans. Glad you're with us on SummitCitySports.com. I'm Jim Measel. Here's a drive to the 10 and score the bucket for Archibald, his first two of the night. Homestead opening up some space now. They get their lead into double digits, 19-8, favor the Spartans. And they put pressure on the ball out high. Pass knocked away, there's a steal for Durnell. So the Spartans get the stop. Here comes Ferguson. Ferguson, look at that dipsy do move. Now Durnell hands it back to Buck. Ferguson on the drive, a scoop of the right hand. Oh, that was pretty. Ferguson starting to feel it now. He's got four, 21-8. Homestead builds a 13-point lead. Causey to dial back to Causey. We have seven minutes to go until halftime. 21-8 as Homestead right now on a seven-point run. They've opened up a 13-point lead. Here is Dial to Causey. 3-2 zone by Homestead. Causey for three, not there. Rebound. Good one by Sanders. Can't get it to go on the stick back. Young gets the rebound. Young had it knocked away. May have been fouled, and there's a late call. And there's going to be a foul on Homestead. As it's on Buck. That's the first on Buck and the second on the team, and that was a late call there. 6.35 to go in the opening half. Craig Young, 6'5", sophomore at the line for Wayne. Foul shooting has been an issue for the Generals this year. They're only shooting 55% from the line as a team. Young misses the first of two. Craig's got a nice game, but Craig's going to have to work in his foul shooting. That's all there is to it. 43% of the line, and he still averages nearly 20 a game. He missed them both. Rebound, Durnell. 21-8, Homestead with a 13-point lead. And they have the basketball, 6.27 to go in the opening half. Here's Ferguson. Now Wayne setting up a 3-2 zone, extending pressure to the ball out high. Ferguson, triple try, bullseye! Ferguson from downtown. He now has seven. And Homestead continues to build their lead. Ten in a row for the Spartans. They're on top now, 24 to 8. 6 4 to go in the opening half. Causey, Dial, left baseline. Sanders fills it up. Sanders has four. That ends a 10-point run for the Homestead Spartans. They lead now 24 to 10. 547 to go in the opening half. Ferguson guarded by Causey. Neither team with a bonus. In fact, we got fouls to give all over the place right now. Just three fouls against Wayne, two against Homestead. Ferguson, bullseye from downtown. He's got eight in this quarter, ten for the night. And error Rur calls timeout. It'll be a 30-second timeout with 5.31 to go in the first half. Homestead with a 27-10 lead. As uh, they have outscored Wayne here, 13-2 after being up 14-8 late in the first quarter. 
Once again, tonight's broadcast being brought to you by SummitCitySports.com. Follow us on Twitter at 260 Sports. Like our Facebook page at Summit City Sports. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Well, we'd like to congratulate some girls basketball teams from the Fort Wayne area who won sectional titles this past Saturday. Homestead and Carroll in 4A. Concordia in 3A. Blackhawk Christian in 1A. They're all moving on to the regionals on Saturday. We get a chance at halftime. We'll let you know about that girls basketball regional schedule coming up on Saturday. The Homestead girls, they got a big game in the regional semifinals. An outstanding matchup with uh, Zionsville, two of the best teams in the state of 4A. Play back underway, a miss and a rebound for Grant Raber. Now for the Homestead Spartans, we got uh, substitutes into the ball game for the Spartans and a triple try for Parker Mangus. That's his third triple of the night. That gives him 11 and Homestead is running away. They're up by 20, 30 to 10 Spartans with 4.57 to go in the first half. Here's Jerome. Young to the rack, and he jams it. Craig Young with a slam and a strong move to the 10. I told you the sophomore's got a nice game. What a career he's going to have at Wayne before he's done. Score that bucket for Durnell. That makes it 32-12. Home step by 20. Four and a half to go in the half to the other end. Here's a shot. Won't go. The iron unkind for Dial. And Homestead with the basketball. Parker Mangis hands it back to Esakudo. Uni es Esakudo to the ball game now, number 12. Mangus for three, missed that one, and Young the rebound for Wayne. 4 7 to go in the first half. Homestead 32, Wayne 12. Young, left wing, Giroux. Back outside it comes to Causey. And Homestead's gone back to a man-to-man -man defense now. With it is Dial. Young, top of the key, tries for three. Bullseye! Craig Young. You know, he's 47% from beyond the arc, so he could hit that. Young now with seven points for the night. The Homestead lead is 17, 32 15. Three and a half to go in the first half. Mangis over it comes to Dornell for three. Missed it. And a tie up on the rebound. Raber battling, dial the rebound, and the arrow belongs to Wayne. 3.24 to go in the first half. Homestead 32, Wayne 15, and the Generals have the basketball. No pressure by the Spartans in the backcourt. And Phillips brings the ball over the timeline. Over to Causey, and a whistle away from the ball. We're gonna get a foul inside on Wayne. I think it's on Alexander. Yep. Darius Alexander, his first. Team foul number four. Again, neither team is in the bonus. Four fouls against Wayne, only two against Homestead. 3.16 to go in the first half. Homestead has the ball in a 32-15 lead. And over the timeline, Ferguson. Now on the near side, Raber. Out top, Durnell. Over it comes to Ferguson. Ferguson draws the double team. Now he finds Durnell in the right corner. Durnell to the elbow, to the lane, back outside. That's a kudo. Back it comes to Durnell. Durnell contact, missed the shot, but Durnell will shoot two. And Alexander will get whistled again for his second. Team foul number five with 2.50 to go in the first half. So here's Donnell at the line for two shots. The 6'6 senior, averaging 16.3 points a game. And he hits the first one, that gives him five for the night. Homestead up by 18, a 33-15. Their biggest lead was 20. And Donnell got them both. Homestead 4 of 4 the line this half. They lead 34-15. Homestead right now with a comfortable 19-point lead. Here's Phillips on the near side. It comes to Giroux. Giroux out top. Alexander gives it up. Phillips to Young. 
Young top of the key, hands it off to Causey. Causey comes around the screen, down the lane, whistle before the shot. I do believe, I think they're going to call that on the floor. And the foul on Esakudo. That'll be his first team foul, number three. Indeed, the foul was out the floor, so it's out of bounds for Wayne. 2.28 to go, first half. And it comes to Phillips, and he'll bring it back outside. 34-15, Homestead. Causey, back to Phillips. Over to the right wing, it comes to Giroux. Phillips has it. Giroux, right wing, triple try. Rattles out, and on the rebound, clearly up over the back is Darian Causey. That'll be his first, team foul number six. So the next foul on Wayne will put Holmstead into the bonus. Wayne setting up pressure at the backcourt now. 2-11 to go in the first half. Esacudo brings the ball down court for Holmstead. Esacudo to Ferguson. Now with it is Raber. Two minutes to go in the half. They swing the ball around the perimeter. Esacudo, triple try. Too strong. And on the rebound, Jerome. Nice block out. Here's Alexander, and he can't finish. Maybe been bump, no call. Young fighting hard on the offensive glass. He can't convert. As Sakuto comes away with it for Homestead. He's in a hurry. Kicks it right wing to Buck. Now out top, triple try, Durnell, bullseye! <laughs> Durnell from distance. Seven and a quarter, nine for the night. And Homestead now has their biggest lead of the game. 22 points, 37-15 Spartans. 121 to go in the first half. Homestead has been in control of this ball game ever since Wayne fell or Wayne got out to an early 2-0 lead, but since that time it's been pretty much all Homestead. And now we're gonna foul on Esacudo, his second. Team foul number four. Man gets back into the ball game, number 20 for Homestead. Esacudo will sit down. Wayne ball out of bounds, 115 to go here in the first half. Homestead 37, Wayne 15. It was unusually warm in Fort Wayne today. This is February the 7th. It got up to near 60 degrees late this afternoon. Another mild day on what's turned out to be a rather mild winter. But uh, they're calling for snow showers tomorrow. So, you know, you, you just never know in this state. Wait five minutes if you don't like the weather in Indiana. It will change. Triple try, Causey rattles out. Alexander rebounds inside, Jarrell scores. So the Generals working hard on the offensive glass the last couple times down. That time they are rewarded. Jarrell with the bucky, he now has six points. 37-17 Homestead, 52 seconds to go in the half. Triple try, right corner, not there for Raber. Rebound Alexander, ahead to Causey. Causey down court, blows by Ferguson and scores. Causey with a heck of a move to the rack there. His first two of the night, 37-19. Wayne with a quick spurt. Well, they got a long way to go. Homestead still with a commanding 18-point lead. And we have 27 seconds to go until halftime. Homestead may hold it for the last shot here now. Down to 22 seconds. Buck has it with 20 seconds. 18, 17, and the Spartans will play for one. Down to 15 seconds. 13, 12, 11. Here's Ferguson with nine seconds, eight seconds, seven, six, five, four go, seconds, go, three go. seconds. Ferguson had it knocked away. Loose ball, desperation shot. Not there for Grinnell. And good defense by Wayne to close out the first half here at Homestead High School. So your halftime score, the Homestead Spartans 37 and the Wayne Generals 19. Again, tonight's game is uh, coming your way on SummitCitySports.com. Follow us on Twitter at 260 Sports. Like our Facebook page, Summit City Sports, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Parkview Sports Medicine is a proud supporter of Fort Wayne Area Athletics and its athletes. Parkview Sports Medicine can provide the training, treatment, and education you need to advance your sports game. Have questions about injury prevention, sports nutrition, and more? We've got you covered. That's Parkview Sports Medicine at parkview.com. Sports Center Incorporated is Fort Wayne's premier sporting goods dealer offering equipment rental, embroidery, and screen printing. Sports Center is ready and willing to help you place orders and or answer any questions concerning pricing. 
Sports Center Incorporated is located at 5511 Coventry Lane, Fort Wayne, Indiana, 46804. With our cameraman Adam Reed, I'm Jim Measle with you at Homestead High School tonight in this Summit Athletic Conference game. We're at halftime, Homestead 37, Wayne 19. Well, why don't we step aside here for a few minutes? We'll come back with the first half numbers. Also take a look ahead to the girls basketball regionals coming up on Saturday. We'll do all that in just a few moments here on SummitCitySports.com. Here at the half, 37-19. Unofficial first half numbers for the Spartans. Parker Manchus leading the way with 11 points and included three triples and a couple of foul shots. Jack Ferguson, 10 points, eight of those points coming in the second quarter. Nine points for Brandon Durnell, and then five points for Sam Buck and two for Jake Archibald. Homestead hit all four of their foul shots in the first half. For the Wayne Generals, they are led by Craig Young with seven points in the first half. Kylon Giroux has six points, four points for Sanders, and two for Causey. Foul situation uh, for Homestead. They got uh, Essie Kudo with, with two fouls, and for Wayne Phillips and Alexander both with two fouls. We mentioned the girls' basketball regionals coming up on Saturday, a class of 4A at Kokomo, Homestead at 24 and 2 will be facing Zionsville at 25 and 1. That game is scheduled to start at noon. That'll be the second semifinal at Kokomo on Saturday in the morning. The first game at 10 o'clock will have Carroll at 18 and 6 against Carmel, 22 and 3. In the 3A regionals at Columbia City, the first game will have Heritage Christian against Norwell. And that'll be followed by Concordia at 20 and 4, taking on Tippecanoe Valley. Tip Valley is 22 and 4. Blackhawk Christian will be playing North White in the 1A regionals at Caston. Blackhawk is 12 and 12. North White 21 and 4. The other regional semifinal at Caston will have Marquette Catholic against Argus. So once again, congratulations and good luck to Homestead, Carroll. Concordia and Blackhawk Christian as they have moved on to the regional round on Saturday. Homestead won the JV game earlier tonight over Wayne, 48 to 41. Upcoming for the Generals after tonight's game, they'll have uh, road games this weekend at South on Friday night at uh, Huntington North on Saturday. Then the Generals will wrap up their season with three straight home games. They'll host Concordia next Tuesday. Canterbury on the 21st and Richmond on the 24th. For Homestead, they got five games left in the regular season after tonight. They'll host Concordia on Friday, then play at Carroll a week from Friday on the 17th, host Jay County on the 18th, and wrap up the regular season with road games at DeKalb on February 21st and at Norwell on February the 24th. All right, second half getting underway here at Homestead High School. Spartans have the ball on the possession arrow to start the second half. They have a 37 to 19 lead. Spartans going to the bucket to our left. Ferguson to the right wing in front of the now vacated bleachers that once housed the band. Boy, that band is awesome here at Homestead. A miss on the inside and the rebound to Craig Young who brings the ball to the forecourt, hands it back to Phillips. Phillips comes to the near side. Wayne down by 18 points as we start the second half. Young inside. And there's a miss on the inside for Phillips. Stick back is not there. Rebound dug out of there by Sanders. So Wayne working hard on the, on the offensive glass. Maintains possession. 7-10 to go in the third quarter. Down low it comes. Alexander lost it. And the loose ball is picked up by Archibald for Holmstead. Here come the Spartans. Nobody has scored yet. In the second half, and a triple try missed by Mangus. Stick back is good for Buck. Buck now with seven. 39-19, home step back up by 20. Their biggest lead was 22. Now here's Jerrell, he'll drive it to the rack and score. Jerrell's got eight. As the Generals were able to break the half court trap 
They're down by 18 again, 39-21, with six and a half to go in the third quarter. Here's Buck. Manges. Durnell scores two more. Durnell's got 11. 41-21, 20-point lead for Homestead. 6-14 to go in the third. Here comes the trap at midcourt. But uh, Causey gave it up to Phillips. Now Phillips back to Causey. Here's Phillips, the 5'9 junior. Six minutes remaining in the third quarter. Causey, he played two minutes here without a whistle to start the second half. Here's Giroud now. Back to Phillips. Causey drives it to the lane and misses. Rebound loose. Ferguson saves it, throws it out of bounds. No. It'll be a homestead basketball. He threw it out of bounds off of Causey. So the Spartans get it back with 5.42 to go in the third quarter. And Oh, you can't do that. That's going to be a turnover on Homestead. And Chris Johnson, the Homestead coach, with a perplexed look on his face. The Spartans guilty of an unforced sloppy turnover right there. Here's the inbounds. The runner is missed. Missed by Phillips. And Drenell got the rebound. Spartans on the run. Archibald finally corrals the ball. Now Drenell back outside. Archibald, the freshman. Back to Manges. Now on the near side, Ferguson. Drenell at the blocks. Drenell to the rack. Can't finish. Young rebounds for Wayne. 5.20 to go in the third quarter. 20-point lead for Homestead. Young to the rack. And he got called for a travel. And Homestead gets it back. They lead 41-21. Homestead 14-3 overall entering tonight's game. 4-2 in the Summit. Wayne 7-9 overall. 1-5 in the Summit. Archibald to Ferguson. As they break the pressure. Durnell in the lane. Misses. Rebound yanked out of there by Sanders for the Generals. Five minutes to play in the third quarter. 41-21, home step by 20. Here's Young. Over it goes to Phillips. Phillips used up his dribble in some trouble. Has to give it up. Here's a drive by Causey in the lane. Rejected from behind by Manges. A two on one the other way. Buck to the rack. That's going to be an offensive foul. Offensive foul on Buck. As Phillips took one for the team. Two on Buck, first in the team here in the second half. First foul on anybody. Chris Johnson, his 18th year here at Homestead as coach, has won 283 games here at Homestead. Overall, in 23 years, Coach Johnson has compiled 363 wins. Homestead coming away. Following the Wayne miss, and oh, what a move all the way to the rack by Archibald. Archibald with an explosion to the 10. 43-21, Archibald has four. 43-21, home step by 22. 4-10 to go in the third quarter. Young hands it back now to Phillips. And Homestead, looks like they're going zone here. Looks like a 3-2 zone now by the Spartans. Giroux, right corner, back outside Causey. 3.55 to go in the third quarter. 43-21 Homestead. Here's Phillips. Down low. Pass is fumbled. Saved by Sanders. Back outside of Causey. Now Giroux in the lane. Left-hand shot. Cannot get it to go. Dernell the rebound. Ahead to Ferguson. Ferguson down the right wing. Ferguson to the elbow. Back. Triple try. Dernell. Bullseye. Dernell's got 14. And Homestead with a 25-point lead. Their biggest of the night, 46-21 Spartans. 3.22 to go in the third quarter. On the near side, Causey. Out top, Phillips to Causey. Locked down to 3.12 to go in the third quarter. Homestead with a commanding 25-point lead. Funny, that was the lead for Atlanta Sunday. But uh, Wayne may need more than Tom Brady to help him out right now. Here is Causey, near side, inside the arc. A long two is missed by Sanders. Rebound, Drenell for Homestead. 2.49 to go, third quarter. 46-21, Homestead with a 25-point lead in the basketball. Man-to-man -man defense by Wayne. Ferguson to the right wing. Ferguson to the foul line, Drenell drives it, kicks it right corner. Archibald can't get it from about 16 feet away. And fighting for the rebound, Buck... 
And we get a whistle with two and a half to go in the third quarter. And that foul's going to be whistled on Wayne Sanders. That'll be his first, the first on the Generals. Just two fouls called so far here in the second half, one on each side. Two and a half minutes to play in the third quarter. And a timeout taken here by Olmstead as Archibald could not get the ball in, and Coach Chris Johnson wants to take a 30-second timeout here. Once again, tonight's broadcast being brought to you by SummitCitySports.com. Follow us on Twitter at 260Sports. Like our Facebook page at Summit City Sports, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to be with Summit City Sports on Saturday. We'll have uh, coverage from the 4A Girls Basketball Regionals at Kokomo, as well as uh, Concordia's game against Tippecanoe New Valley in the Class of 3A Regionals at Columbia City. That's coming up Saturday here on SummitCitySports.com. I'll be back with you Friday night. Big game in the Summit Conference with Snyder hosting Lures. And also I'll be with you on Saturday night at Carroll High School for the boys game between Carmel and Carroll. Carmel ranked in the top 10 this week in Class 4A in the state of uh, Indiana. So that's going to be a tough game for the Chargers. Mankins with the basketball for Homestead out of their timeout. Triple try, Ferguson, not there. And on the rebound, Young comes away with it for Wayne. 2.17 to go in the third quarter. 46-21 Homestead with a 25-point lead. Giroux, and on the drive, we're going to get a Homestead foul, looks like. Yep. It's on Raber. That'll be his first team foul, number two. 2.10 to go in the third quarter. 46-21, Homestead up by 25. This is their biggest lead of the game. They're up by 18 at halftime. Giroux, out top it comes to Phillips. Back to Giroux, right wing. He'll drive to the lane and got stripped. And Esakudo comes away with it for Homestead. Triple try right corner, Mangas. He buries another one. That's four from distance for Parker Mangas. He now has 14 points. 49-21 Homestead, and with a minute 44, the ball goes out of bounds. Dio and Alexander back into the ball game now for Wayne. Sanders and Giroux will sit down. 144 to go in the third quarter. Homestead in complete control of this ball game, up by 28, 49-21. And it comes to Young. Now here's Phillips. Phillips to the right corner, back to Young, and there's a steal by Esakudo for Homestead as he anticipated that pass. Triple try, left corner. Durnell not there. Look at that rebound. Grabbed by Alexander. Alexander, a sophomore. They have some young talent on this Wayne team, and there's a three ball from the left corner. Bullseye for Dial. His first bucket of the night. 49-24. The Homestead lead is 25. We have 1.10 to go here in the third quarter. Durnell, down low, pass goes by Mangas, or was it knocked out of bounds? They say last touch by one of the Generals. So it'll be Homestead ball at the baseline, a minute five to go in the third. Homestead leading 49-24. And it comes to Durnell, Raber. Raber, tough defense there by Dial. Ferguson. Ferguson, right corner, Raber. They swing the ball around the perimeter. Ferguson for three, bullseye! Three Ferguson's got 13. 52-24, 28 point lead for Homestead. So Ferguson has 14, Mangas has 14. And score that bucket for Dial. That gives him five. 52-26 is the score. Homestead leading by 26. Darnell also has a 14 points. So three guys with 14 points for Homestead. And that's what you call balanced scoring. 18 seconds to go in the third quarter. Darnell to the rack. He'll score two more. And now he leads Homestead in scoring with 16 points. 54, 26 Homestead. Five seconds. Shot good from the left wing for Craig Young. That gives him nine points. That prayer is not going to be answered. And after three quarters here at Homestead, it's all Spartans. 54-28.
Homestead over Wayne. Once again, tonight's game being brought to you by SummitCitySports.com. Follow us on Twitter at 260 Sports. Like our Facebook page, Summit City Sports, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Parfew Sports Medicine is a proud supporter of Fort Wayne Area Athletics and its athletes. Parfew Sports Medicine can provide the training, treatment, and education you need to advance your sports game. Have questions about injury prevention, sports nutrition, and more? We've got you covered. That's Parkview Sports Medicine at Parkview.com. Sports Center Incorporated is Fort Wayne's premier sporting goods dealer, offering equipment rental, embroidery, and screen printing. Sports Center is ready and willing to help you place orders and or answer any questions concerning pricing. Sports Center Incorporated at 5511 Coventry Lane, Fort Wayne, 46804. Getting ready for the fourth quarter. Yes, we had the big comeback in the Super Bowl on Sunday, but folks right now, the Homestead Spartans don't look like the Atlanta Falcons. They look really solid. Up 54-28 after three. Ferguson has 13 points. Mangus has 14. Durnell has 16. The top three scores for Homestead this evening. Archibald has four points, seven points for Buck. For Wayne, Young has nine points. Jarreau has eight. Causey has two, five for Dial, and four for Sanders. 54-28, Homestead leading. Wayne with the basketball, and Young scores from 10 feet on the right side. So Young now in the double digits. He has t uh, 11 points. 54-30, Wayne f with some pressure in the backcourt, almost forced a turnover. Homestead maintains possession. Raber from 10. He, oh, the iron unkind. Halfway down and it popped out. Young has the basketball. 7.24 left in the game. 54-30 Homestead. Here's a triple try from the left wing. Missed. Long rebound to Mangus. And he hands it off to Ferguson. And let's see if Homestead tries to run some clock here, leading by 24. We're down to 7.06 to go in the game. Mangas travels. Well, so much for that idea. Now we're going to get Deontay Causey into the ball game, number 15 for the Wayne Generals. So the two Causeys are on the court right now. Darian, number three. Deontay, number 15. Seven minutes to go in the ball game. Wayne has the basketball. Homestead with a 54-30 lead. On the near side, this is Darian Causey. And a pass knocked away, stolen by Raber. Raber quickly down court, and he got fouled going aggressively to the rack. Grant Raber will be shooting two with 6.49 to go in the game. Fouls on Causey, that'll be his second. And the second on the team. Two fouls on both teams, so both squads are far away from the bonus. Here's Raber, the 5'10 junior. And he gets into the box score, his first point of the night there. 55-30 Homestead. Raber, a 78% foul shooter. Now Ferguson and Mangus will come out. It looks like they're done for the night. Durnell also, oh, I thought he was coming out. No, he's just coming over to talk with Coach Chris Johnson. So I would imagine uh, Ferguson and uh, Mangus are done for the night with his 25-point lead for Homestead. Raper's second one is good. So Homestead now six of six of the foul line tonight. They're up by 26 points, 56-30 over the Wade Generals. 640 left of the ball game. Here's Phillips. Phillips. Near side it comes to Causey. Homestead in a the zone. They swing the ball around the perimeter. Triple try for the left wing. It's not there. Rebound to Deontay Causey, and he steps on the baseline out of bounds. So the Spartans get it back with 6.27 left of the game, leading 56 to 30. So Homestead on their way to their 15th victory of the season. They'll go to 5 and 2 in the summit. Wayne will drop to 7 and 10 overall and 1 and 6 in the summit. If nothing really strange happens here in the final 6 minutes and 18 seconds, Homestead leading by 26, 56 to 30. That's the Kudo with it on the left wing, out top to Raber. Now with it is Buck. Esakudo right corner for three. Not there. Rebound to Phillips for Wayne. Ahead it comes 
to Dial. Dial the lane, got stripped. And Archibald comes away with it. Archibald down the middle of the court, hands it off to Durnell. Durnell scores off the window. And that gives him 18. He's averaging 16-3 a ball game, so he's over his average now. 58-30, to home step by 28. Triple try right corner, bullseye for Dial. Dial, dials it up from downtown. Been waiting to say that all night. 58-33, Dial, two triples. He has eight points in this game. 58-33, Homestead, they have it. 5.27 to go. Buck for three, bullseye! Buck gets in the double figures. He now has 10. 61-33, Homestead by 28. 5.15 left in the ball game. Phillips, a long three, bullseye! It's raining threes all of a sudden. 61-36, that's the first bucket of the game for Phillips. 5.04 to go in the game. Durnell, out top, Archibald to Buck. 61-36, and there's a steal for Causey, and he does not convert. That's Akuto down court. Durnell to the rack, and missed it, but he got fouled with 4.48 to go. 4.48 to go, and Durnell will be shooting two as that foul is on Marlowe. His first, team foul number three. Brandon Durnell, 6'6", senior, two shots upcoming. He has 18 points tonight. Make it 19. As the kudo goes out, and Logan Pauley checks in now for a homestead, 5'10", junior. 62-36. 26-point lead for Homestead. And Burnell got them both, and it looks like he's done for the night. He goes out. Manjus checks back into the lineup for Homestead. 63-36, 27-point lead. Big night for Brandon Durnell. 20 points for Homestead. 63-36, Homestead leading by 27. Wayne has the basketball, 4.35 to go. Triple try, not there. And on the rebound, we're going to get a Wayne foul. Going up the back is Andrew Rhodes. That'll be his first. Team foul number four. Oh, check that. They call it on Pauly. I beg your pardon. Pauly commits the foul. His first. Team foul number three. So we stand corrected. Still Wayne with the basketball. Phillips, top of the key. And he passed it to nobody. Down low as Wayne turns the ball over and way too many turnovers for Wayne in this ball game. 4.26 to go. Homestead has the ball in a 27 point lead, 63 36. Pauly still has not got the ball over the timeline and they got the 10 second violation and they whistle 10 seconds just as Rose was going in for an uncontested lay in. Bad break for Rose. But the 10 second violation was called before the steal. And so Wayne has the ball back following the 10 second call. Rhodes with 4-10 remaining. Here's Phillips, near side. Triple try is not there for Dial. And the rebound to Mangus for Homestead. Four minutes to play. Homestead with the ball in a 63-36 lead. Here's Raber. Mangus right corner for three, not there. Rebound into the hands of Rhodes, and he's in a hurry. They head to Dial. Dial, nice move. Can't convert. Rhodes, the stick back. Good and one. Rhodes getting the rebound bucket to make it 63-38. Fouls on Buck. That'll be his third. And the fourth on the team. So Andrew Rhodes gets into the box score. That bucket, he'll look for the old-fashioned three-point play and gets it. And that makes the score now 63-39. Homestead by 24. Buck goes out. Asakudo back in for Homestead. 3.46 to go. Homestead has the ball in a 63-39 lead. Asakudo with the basketball. Back it comes to Archibald. To midcourt it comes. Over the timeline to Raber. Asakudo between the circles. Down to 3.34 left in the ball game. Asakudo between the circles. Guarded by Marlowe. Left wing comes to Raber. Now here's Mangus. Left wing, Raber. Long two. He got it. Raber from about 16 feet now has four. 65 39. 
Homestead by 26. And we're down to 3.10 to go. Here is Causey losing it. Esacuto comes away with a three on one the other way. Nice give and go. Esacuto finishes. Here's the first bucket of the night. 67 at 39. Homestead. 2.55 left. Now here is Phillips over a goals. Left wing triple try. Bullseye! From downtown, score the bucket for Marlowe. His first bucket of the night. That makes it 67 42. The only question now is what the final score will be. As uh, folks, I guess it's safe to say we're at the garbage time here. Two and a half to go in this ball game. 67 42, Homestead. They have the basketball. Mangus near side, Pauly. Left corner, Raber. Baseline drive. Runner with the right hand. That's going to be an offensive foul on Raber. As Phillips took one for the team. That'll be his second, team foul number five. Phillips taking one for the team there, despite the fact his team is down by a, a whole bunch. you got to like that effort on the defensive end. 2.20 left in the ball game. Homestead 67, Wayne 42. Generals have the basketball. Kenny in the ball game now, number 12. Rhodes, Kenny. Rhodes has it. 2-3 zone by Homestead. Triple try, Kitty. Bullseye! Tamon Kitty from downtown. 67-45. 22-point lead for Homestead. 153 left. Spartans get the ball to the timeline. They get numbers. And score that bucket. For Ponslinski. And he gets into the box score. To make it 69-45. Homestead by 24. Generals turn the ball over. Homestead gets it back with 1.38 to go. Zach Kruger, number 14. And 24, Cade Copine, a sophomore. Check into the Homestead lineup. As uh, both coaches, uh, Rare and Johnson, have pretty much emptied the benches here. Homestead up by 24 points, 69-45. We have a minute 30 left in the game. Homestead has the basketball. There's a steal by Kinney. And as one would expect right now, it's a little bit on the sloppy side. Rhodes misses. Outside it comes. With a minute 18 to go. Kinney from 30 feet. Not there. And Posolinski gets the rebound for Homestead. All right. Asakudo into the forecourt. Kruger near side Pauly. One minute to play in the ball game. Asakudo. Back out top, Pauly. Near side, Kopi. 53 seconds. Near steal. That's a Kudel saves it. Kopi. Kruger. Over to Pauly. Homestead just looking to run off the clock here, it looks like. Up 69 45. Really making no, no move to the basket. We're down to 38 seconds. And it looks like they just want to put the ball in the deep freeze and go home. Pauly with 30 seconds. And we're down to 27 seconds. Passes it to Copine, and there's a foul with 24 seconds to go. The foul whistled on Kinney. That'll be his first, the fifth on the team. Neither team in the bonus, so it's out of bounds. Homestead with 24.3 to go. Homestead up 69-45. There will be 15-3, and 5-2 and two in the conference. Wayne will drop to 1-6 and six in the conference and 7-10 and 10 overall. And Homestead now just looking to... Burn off the final seconds. We're down to 10 seconds. Here's Pauly. Eight, seven, six. Pauly in the lane, and he didn't quite know what to do there, and he got called for a travel. So Wayne gets it back with five seconds to go. One last possession for the Generals. Dial picks it up. Dial, triple try is not there, and... And there's Bill of the Buzzer. That's all there is. There ain't no more. Your final score tonight here at Homestead. The Homestead Spartan 69 and the Wayne Generals 45. Unofficial final numbers for the Generals. Craig Young had 11 points. Kylon Giroux had 8. Darian Cossey with 2. 3 for Marlowe. 3 for Phillips. 3 for Rhodes. 8 for Dial. 3 for Kinney. And four for Sanders. For Homestead, let's just run down the book here. Raber had four points. 13 for Ferguson. 
two for Isak. Esakudo, Esakudo had two points. 14 for Mangus, four for Archibald, 10 for Buck, and Brandon Grinnell on all scores with 20 points. Pozolinski wound up with two points. So four Spartans to double figures tonight. 24 Grinnell, 14 for Mangus, 13 for Ferguson, and 10 for Buck. Once again, I'd like to thank our sponsors, Parkview Sports Medicine, and Sports Center Incorporated of Fort Wayne. Once again, tonight's broadcast has been brought to you by SummitCitySports.com. Follow us on Twitter at 260 Sports. Like our Facebook page, Summit City Sports, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks to everybody here at Homestead for their hospitality. That's the story tonight here at the home of the Spartans. Once again, your final score, the Homestead Spartans 69 and the Wayne Generals 45. Now speaking on behalf of our cameraman, Adam Reed, I'm Jim Measle saying have a good night, everybody.